Dr. Shanklin, this problem is... I know. Just copy it exactly as you see it written. But it's... Exactly as written. Thank you. So what's this problem I'm supposed to look at? I don't know. Is it like the problems my mom worked on? Your mother didn't work on problems. She worked on just one problem. Just one? My entire life? Most of it. Look. These are the Millennium problems. Seven great and meaningful problems. Some mathematicians have worked their entire lives to prove them. Who's the dude with a beard? That's not a dude. That's Grigory Perelman. He proved the Poincaré conjecture. The only one of the seven proved. This. This is your mother's problem. Navi. Navia Stokes. No picture. She didn't solve it? No. She was close. She would have won the Fields Medal and probably shared a Nobel, considering what it would have meant for physics. Maybe I'll have my picture up here someday. If you really desire it, you can have your picture there, darling. I can help you. It takes focus and hard work, but if you succeed, your name will live forever. She's had plenty of time. She traveled yesterday. She slept in a strange bed. Give her a chance. At six years old, she read Zimmer. Outstanding. How much did she comprehend? So, Mary, I see you're looking at a little problem. Little egg. I'm not mad. I'm annoyed. Not with you, dear, but that pompous ass shaking. And I knew that guy was going to have a beard before we even went in there. How do teachers like to grow beards? I should never have agreed to this in the first place. Did he really expect you to just walk in and be able to dissect some random, massive problem? Not much to dissect if you ask me. Why? Why do you say that? It was wrong. What? Well, for starters, you forgot the negative sign on the exponent. It went downhill from there. The problem was unsolvable. Maybe this school isn't as great as you think it is. problem was incorrect, why don't you say anything? Frank says I'm not supposed to correct older people. Nobody likes a smart ass. <laughs>